Hi guys, welcome to another video. Tonight, I'm going to test how really good the night mode camera system of iPhone 12 Pro Max. What I have here are four devices. The first one is the iPhone 6. The second one is the iPhone 7 Plus. The third one is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And the fourth one is the Canon 60D DSLR. For all of the phones, I'm going to use the main camera and of course all will be automatic but for the DSLR this is a mid-range camera I bought nine years ago I'm going to do full manual mode when shooting in the dark so let's see how the image compared to one another before we begin let me do a quick explanation on what three important settings a camera need to get a good quality photo in low light or in the dark. First is the shutter speed. In layman's term, it's the speed of the shutter that determines how much light the camera sensor would get. The faster the shutter, less light will go to the camera sensor but take note that faster shutter speed means less blurry photo. The slower the shutter, more light will go to the camera sensor also take note that slower shutter speed means more chances of blurry photo if you don't have a steady hand. For night photography, we need a slower shutter speed, usually 1 to 8 seconds, meaning we also need to use a tripod for our photo not to become blurry. The second one is the aperture. It's the opening in the lens through which light passes to enter the camera. In layman's term, it's like the pupil of our eyes. The wider the, the aperture, more light can enter, but this also means that if you have a closed subject, a background blur will occur, or what they call bokeh. A small aperture will take less light to enter the camera. For night photography, we need the widest aperture to let all the light needed into our device. So for my um, lens, the widest one is 3.5 and um, I have another lens here uh, but I can't do any zoom in or zoom out here the widest aperture setting here is 1.8 the third and final one is the ISO it is the setting to brighten or darken the photo the higher the setting means brighter and the lower the setting makes the image darker. Depends on the camera and how it processes the image. Too high setting of the ISO can make the image grainy or dirty. The lowest setting I have in my DSLR is ISO 100 and will produce the best image quality. For night photography, it depends on your device and how dark is the scene on what ISO setting you would use. I will use ISO 100 for my shot to have the best image quality and avoid grainy images. So I'm here outside of our balcony. As you can see, it's really really dark. So let's get some sample shot. For the next sample shot, uh, I'm just going to use this light to take a photo of this small toy of my daughter. So let's see. Last test, let's take a photo of this toy using no light at all. For my 
SLR shot, I'm going to use the external flash here. But I will disable the flash. I just want to use the laser at the focus. So there you go guys, iPhone 12 Pro Max, camera night mode is a real deal. It can even be on par with the middle range DSLR. Considering everything is automatic, it's really a huge leap in low light mobile photography. You don't even need to understand shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. Your iPhone will just give you the best possible image every time. Please like and subscribe to my channel and see you on the next one.